what the Pepeo opinion was. They were 2016 number four, post-transcriptional modification, prokaryotes versus eukaryotes. So they give us this diagram and they're showing us the figure represents the process of expression of gene X in a eukaryotic cell. The primary transcript in the figure is 15 kilobases long, but the mature mRNA is seven kilobases in length. Describe the modification that most likely results in the eight kilobase difference in length of the mature mRNA molecule, and then identify in response location cell where the change occurs. So they've given us this diagram and they've told us some information. So I'd go ahead and label your diagram. So we know that before the primary transcript is 15, and then after the mature mRNA is seven kilobases. Um, and now we have to think, okay, well, use our diagram to answer the question. Okay, so I see that my primary transcript has these black regions and these white regions. Based on this, I know that the black regions are exons and the white regions are introns. Down here, when I look at the mature mRNA, I only see those black regions. So using the diagram alone, I can say that the introns must have been removed. The introns were cut out. The introns are no longer there. Um, so removal of those introns, which is all part of RNA processing that takes place in eukaryotes. Um, not in the diagram and also just, you know, mentioning this since we're talking about this. Two other things that happen in RNA processing, there's a five prime cap added and a poly A tail added. Um, so using the diagram again, I see there's a circle and the DNA is inside the circle. And then my protein and my mRNA are outside of that circle. So I can say, oh, well, where is the DNA found in a cell? Well, the DNA is found in the nucleus. So this takes place in the nucleus. So use your diagram to answer your questions. So the student says primary transcript, also known as pre-MR of uh, RNA, uh, include the introns in the raw DNA complementary code. In order to achieve the pro uh, finished product, mRNA, the pre-MRNA, must go through RNA processing in the nucleus itself. A five prime cap with modified guanine is added to the pre-MRNA to help it bind to the ribosome for translation. A poly A tail is added to the three prime end in order to protect the mRNA from degradation by hydrolytic enzymes and to help RNA be ejected from the nucleus and into the cytoplasm. Most importantly, there are SNRPs and splicedomes remove the introns um, from the primary resulting in mature mRNA smaller size. And so they mentioned that it was happening inside the nucleus up here, and then they talked about removing of the introns down there. They then have to ask us to predict the length of mature gene X in the mRNA if the full gene is introduced and expressed in prokaryotic cells, and then justify your prediction. Well, Prokaryotes don't have a nucleus, so they don't go through this post-transcriptional modification. They don't have a nucleus. There's no way to separate the um, mRNA from the ribosomes, and so there's no way to separate transcription and translation. So they happen simultaneously. So I would expect that mature gene X to be the full 15 kilobases because there is no um, post-transcriptional modification. So 15 kilobases, or you could have said longer than the mRNA in eukaryotes. And then mRNA processing does not occur in uh, prokaryotes. And actually, there are no introns in uh, prokaryote, but still, we're just going to say there's no processing. So the student says if the gene was expressed in prokaryotic cells, mature RNA would be just as long as the original gene, 15 kilobases, because prokaryotic cells lack the ability to remove eukaryotic introns. So I hope that was helpful. Remember, a bow penguin is just a test file.